Wendy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. That's Pinky. That's Pinky. Yeah, All right. and this way to the garage. Let's do this. Pinky, let's go. We got a lot of work to do. Um, Wendy, tell me a little bit more about the garage. Well, my son was a real big artist in high school. I thought he was going to go to college for art, but then at the last minute he decided he wanted to major in agriculture. So he still continues with fun art, Yeah. and I have a lot of his art in the house. So I want to show you the garage. Can't wait to see it. Wow, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So my son, when he was in high school, he wanted to graffiti. And rather than having him go out where it was illegal, I gave him some canvases. I said he could do it in his bedroom. Right. He filled that. So I said, you could do the garage any place except the brick or the ceiling. <laughs> Well, it looks like he left a message for you up there. <laughs> right? He is awesome, but now I want it to look nice. You know, he's in college. He doesn't care if I paint over it. Okay. I've got lots of his paintings in the house. Okay, so you want to paint over this? I think I'm ready. Okay. I really I need your help, help with that. I don't know how to do this. All right, I can help with that. I need to grab a couple things from my truck, and you and I and Pink will go to work. Okay, come on, Pink. All right, we're ready to go to work, okay? Here's where we're gonna start to roll in the walls with. This is a three-quarter inch nap. You can feel that kind of a thick roller. It's so soft. Okay, and soft too. So because we're working against the surface, you see this heavy texture on the walls and also the very different colors, bright colors. We wanna make sure we get a good coverage. And we don't know if it was water-based or if it's oil-based. If it was oil-based, sometimes you bleed through the primer. We don't want that. Um, my preference is like the acrylic primer. It doesn't smell bad, dries fast, it's all good about. But if we see anything from the paint that's just bleeding through, then we're gonna have to use the oil-based paint. Ready to go to work? I am. All right, let's go. To restart, we will prep the area by vacuuming any dust or dirt on the walls. We will also use painter's tape and plastic sheeting to cover the shelves. Look yep. at that, I'm such a perfect size. See, look at this. Time to test the primer. This is the acrylic one. I wanted to make like a 12 by 12 square. Make sure that we get. Is that a big enough square? That's good, if you wanna do a little more on top of the red here, that's good. Okay, so the thick nap for covering the Group, the okay, texture. The texture, which is kind of a heavy texture. So I still see it underneath here. I still see a little bit, yes. We may need to put two coats of primer, though. Also. Okay. So what I'd like you to do, just put a little more primer on that little roller. Okay. Just take the excess off a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's flip it. And another coat, yeah, yeah. Don't spread too thin, okay? Don't spread it, oh, so don't push so hard. Don't, don't press too hard, yep. All right, all right, that looks good. Oh, that looks a lot better, yeah. Now okay. we're going to do the oil. Okay. So let's go spread it out nice and, nice and easy, yep. Oh, that feels different and it smells different. It smells a little stronger, but it's, it's a good primer. Just go side to side too, sometimes. Make sure you get all the texture covered. Wow, well, it's been about 30 minutes and we can clearly see which one we have to go with. Oh, I am so shocked because when I put the acrylic on, it seemed to go on smoother. Yeah. But the oil base definitely covers so much better. That looks much better. This one here, you still seeing the red come right through it. And this one over here gets a much better coverage. Oil based it is. Ready to go? Yeah. Bye-bye, graffiti. I'll close my eyes, you do it. <laughs> He's still awesome. <laughs>
Now that the prime is dry, we can start painting. We are using a flat interior acrylic paint because it's durable and is easy to clean. In the past, you would use an oil-based paint on top of an oil-based primer. But the primer we use is actually a sealant primer that's designed to have any quality paint applied on top of it, even a water-based paint. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, it is such a different garage right now. It's finally my adult garage. Well, I know you also mentioned to me that you have some graffiti on that brick wall. What do I do about that? Well, actually, there's some product that you can spray it on mm -hmm. and let it sit for 15, 20 minutes. And with a scrub brush, scrub it off, rinse it off, and you're going to have your um, brick wall nice and clean back to you again. That's fantastic to know because I thought once paint was on brick that it would never come off. So I really appreciate learning that. Now you know how to do it. It's my next project. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. much. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.